Hello, Christian Livingstone here. It's October 2014, and uh, I'm getting ready to go to the store, pick up a couple items on the electric hand cycle, and, uh, you know, it's chilly, and uh, not so much today, but the other day, uh, it was uh, chilly for the first time, and, you know, I broke out the, the scarf. And uh, I've got a few of these. They're inexpensive. And, you know, scarves are, are kind of cool, even for men. You know, they don't have to be effeminate. They can be manly and stylish because, uh, you know, style and a little bit of fashion flair is uh, what makes us uh, different or better than mere animals that do nothing more than eat, reproduce, and die. So, you know, I hope you, as a human being, part of a familial species uh, do more than just eat, reproduce, and die, largely speaking. And certainly uh, paying taxes, that's one of the despicable things that we like to avoid. And so I'm going down to uh, the uh, supermarket. I, one of the things I'm going to get is an Amazon card so I don't have to pay sales tax. And, uh, uh, you know, that's always uh, fun for me. But uh, it occurred to me that... Uh, I might actually point out, you know, scarf tying techniques because, uh, you know, initially when I developed this uh, electric hand cycle, I did a typical method of just, you know, doubling it, taking the loop over and pushing it through and be done with it. You know, it's a, it's a good technique. It works great. But when you start moving fast through the air, on a, uh, hand cycle, electric hand cycle like this, when I'm using the juice, I can get up to about 25 miles an hour. And this is fine, except at those higher speeds, you notice that loop leaves a little bit of an air pocket right there. So, you know, I started to notice that. And I started to think, well, you know, maybe there's a better way to tie a scarf uh, for those purposes. You know, this is good for you know, slow moving people, pedestrian walking around just fine. But when you really start cruising through the air and it's chilly, you'll start to notice that hole right there. So anyway, there's a better technique. And these scarves are uh, cheap uh, acrylic, synthetic. Uh, they come in a lot of cool colors and white uh, can, can go with just about everything. So, you know, white's one of them I like. And uh, the better technique for cold uh, uh, temperatures when you're moving through the air at a, a higher speed is to just take it like this and you know about where it's going to fall like the other uh, uh, method but you just go about that far down once around and then pull that same one that's hanging up under with a loop just push that through. It takes a little, little more effort, not much, you know, eight, ten seconds more, but uh, it falls in the same place as the other one, and it is a, a tighter wrap around your neck without any gaps. So, uh, I don't know, it looks about the same, but uh, it's more functional. It's, it's a better way to tie, but generally speaking, you can probably use the other way and not have to I remember how to do this one. So that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, heading to the store now. It's actually a little warm for the scarf today.
uh, if you've seen some of my other uh, YouTube videos, you'll know that uh, I also have the uh, action cam uh, mounted up here, and it's rolling at all times. I've got it uh, wired into the bigger battery on the electric hand cycle, so I never have to take it off and charge it. And I have it set to automatically start firing, so it's actually filming right now, too. So, you know, even without thinking, it's, it's rolling. I, I just do it that way. And uh, we'll roll into the store. You'll see, you know, if there's any uh, opportunity for me to have a conversation briefly and pass off one of these, it, it happens pretty well. So let's do that. Let's uh, roll on down to the store. Mm -hmm. Shooting, huh? Admiring your work. Nice. Hey. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's my gift card. along this tip. It was something that I stumbled upon uh, just because it was better. And, uh, you know, I've worn scarves on and off, but, you know, throughout my life. Uh, but uh, I always did the simple, easy way. And after, uh, you know, developing this and, and using this and relying on this a lot, uh, I, I like this one better. And, uh, who knows, maybe, you know, for us electric hand cyclists out there, there's, there's not many of us. But uh, it does give rise to people asking questions, uh, not just about the electric hand cycle, but about anything. I uh, generally have uh, some pamphlets or tracks that I, uh, when people ask, you know, questions, oh, you know, what's up with all this? What am I seeing? You know, tell me about it. And I do. I, I tell them a little bit about it, and I'll also mention uh, my uh, YouTube channel, New Jerusalem Times, and it'll be written on a track that I can kind of propagandize them. You know, it's kind of an entry into the kingdom of heaven or Christian anarchist kind of topics, but it's pretty soft with the voluntarism uh, tract. Uh, and uh, voluntarism, the uh, non-aggression principle is very near akin to the uh, the golden rule and uh, there's a lot of concepts uh, in here and you know libertarianism christian anarchy and voluntarism that you know they all kind of overlap so uh, this is a an introduction to some you know thinking outside of the status box the hostile uh, box where you know most people have been trained, uh, you know, by the world system through public schools, which are, you know, extortion funded. You know, you don't have a choice whether, you know, your home or your uh, apartment building uh, is, uh, you know, taxed. You don't, you don't have to have kids or send them to public school. They're going to take that money, and that's going to cause you to, uh, you know, not really own property. Private property doesn't exist in America, except for few slim areas, like in Alaska, I believe uh, uh, most uh, areas are not uh, uh, not involved property taxes. But everywhere else, unless you get an exemption, uh, you know, like you're a corporation, and, you know, if you come in with a, a new factory or something, they'll probably defer taxes for a while, let, let the corporations get over for a while. I don't blame them for wanting to get out of it. We all 
like not to uh, have to, uh, you know, pay the extortion to the mafia boss. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm heading to the store, and uh, I will probably leave this on in the store. Usually when I get in the store, I'll take it off, put it in my pocket, but I'm really going to get a couple of things. What you doing, puppy? Come on up there. Can you jump up on up here? But uh, I'll leave it on and see if it uh, elicits any interest or responses. You know, I generally initiate uh, interactions with people when I'm going to be in the store if there's enough people around. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm only going to go in there for a couple of items. And uh, if you've seen some of my other uh, YouTube videos, you'll know that uh, I also have the uh, action cam uh, mounted up here, and it's rolling at all times. I've got it. Uh, wired into the bigger battery on the electric hand cycle so I never have to take it off and charge it and I have it set to automatically start firing so it's actually filming right now too so you know, even without thinking it's, it's rolling I, I just do it that way and uh, we'll roll into the store and you'll see you know if there's any uh, opportunity for me to have a conversation briefly and pass off one of these. It, it happens pretty often. Well. So let's do that. Let's uh, roll on. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sinister, huh? <laughs> oh, that is pretty cool. How come this is the first time? It's, it's my own invention. Your own invention, huh? Sure. <laughs> you have to take that by and show my husband me on the bike shop on 30th Street. No. Yeah. A bike shop on 30th Street? Uh -huh. It's across from where the old Dillon's was. No and kidding. Bikes and more. Is it fairly new? Uh -huh. No we kidding. Just opened this summer. Oh, no kidding. Here, let me give you one of. Uh, my little, uh, it's really a track, but uh, it has my YouTube channel here and it kind of, you know, outlines the developmental process of this thing early on. I put a lot of other videos out there, but, uh, you know, I've had a wheel uh, laced up or two from uh, uh, the guy on Main Street there. Uh -huh. So if you guys do wheel lacing, I might oh, yeah. pop he, into he your place. Yeah. No kidding. Now, uh, See, I'm, I'm wondering, are you guys uh, kind of aware of the electric hub motors? What are your, what's your thinking on that? Are you, you not much? You haven't I thought? Know. Well, I know he said about getting an electric bike in. Right. On the floor, so I don't know. I, a, a lot of people can. familiar with them, yeah. but I don't know how much he, you know, right, how much he's right. on them. Right, Because, you know, people can buy the kit and just get the hub and you know oftentimes like me I, I don't do wheel lacing that's one of the few things I don't do uh -huh. but 
people might start coming to you and they might start saying, you know, I got this kit, can you can you do it? You know, and it's it's a I'll little I'll tell you what, if he hasn't which I guess he probably has before, but if he hasn't, he can Right. Yeah. I think I think electric bikes uh, are kind of a, a new wave uh, of the future, so be ready. Yeah. They they may be coming to your door soon. Oh yeah. Well, I think he's planning on selling them. So. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm I'm developing uh, uh, you know these <laughs> drive trains, and I'm uh, getting ready maybe to do a. Uh, a mid-drive concept. It won't be in the wheel. It'll be right here, so it'll activate as soon as I start pedaling because I can do both. I can manually crank or just hit the juice. Uh -huh. So when I want to get my exercise, I can. Uh -huh. It's not often enough that I do. Because, cool. Yeah, obviously I've got some walking issues. Uh -huh. Well, that's cool. I like what you... It's intriguing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you'll you'll see more. I you know I gab on about this stuff uh, and other things. So feel free. That track is not related, but the website or the uh, YouTube channel is there. And okay, well I'm just I was just looking to see where you, the track is from or where. Like, oh, it's voluntarism. Very peaceful and happy stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Go by and see. My name is Christian, by the way. Okay, I'm Debbie. Debbie. My husband's name is Todd. Okay, and a new bike shop just uh, yeah, I down the have street. Cards, but I don't have any with me. And electric bikes is one thing that he's. Or he's just the kids. About. You know, a lot of people yeah. have bikes already. They don't want to buy a new bike. If you maybe sold the kit, then they can install that on their bike, or you can install that on their bike. So you know, you get sales and service. Who knows? All right. Well, about. good luck with your new uh, enterprise. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's it's going well. Do do do. See you, Debbie. Yeah. How's it going today? Yeah, hey, good. That's busy. Boy, I still love that they can't ever get enough of it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wish I had one of them. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can put an electric hub motor on any bicycle. Yeah, you can. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, she uh, apparently owns a, a new bike shop in town. Oh, she does? I didn't yeah. know that. Right on 30th, across from the old Dillon's. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a bike I didn't, shop. Oh, look what I knew about was Harley. Oh, that's right. They've been around forever. But yeah, she apparently, it's her husband who used to work at Harley's. Yeah. I'll be darned. And that was just another little trip uh, on the electric hand cycle. It's always fun, uh, it seems, and uh, I don't know if the uh, scarf elicited any of that uh, extra interaction. Probably not, but uh, it's it's fun to look good and be comfortable at the same time, regardless of you know what the response is. So you know that's my tip. Uh, you know if you are a man, don't be afraid to take a little fashion risk, there, big guy. And uh, we'll see you next time, okay? Thanks.